Okay, so this is the next part of my uh, roof video. Um, this is the penultimate roof video. We're not quite done with the roof yet, but we're close. Um, it's uh, July 22nd, 2012. Uh, July 21st, I'm not sure. At any rate, um, I mentioned before that we had put up some polycarbonate panels, and I put up... Uh, these are sun tough panels, polycarbonate panels. They come with the same profile as the uh, the roofing metal, and uh, I got them to do exactly what I'm about to show you, which is basically to act as a skylight. So we're up in the attic. This is the there are two attic rooms. This is the front one, and coming in here, and you can see the light in here. It's nice and bright. And those are the purlins. The original oak purlins that uh, the house was made of that they hung the cedar shake on and it looks like there's no roof there um, but that's uh, those are polycarbonate panels there's two of them they're three feet wide by 11 feet long and uh, there was R19 insulation hung in here and I'm, I'm, I have to take it off and rehang it I have to put baffles behind this roof so that the um, so that we have a moisture barrier because there is none right now but um, and then I'll rehang this insulation but uh, you can see that lets you see the the um, the light in here that makes a lot of light in here it's really nice and I'm going to take it stack up that insulation tear it down and stack it in a corner soon um, so that's the one side and we put the, that that uh, that roof line where the uh, or the, the, the side of the house where these panels are. Here's the back room. It's quite spectacular, I think, in here. Even more so. Um, look around. There's the metal roof. As we go across, there's the poly. It has about a 20 year lifespan. And um, I hung them in, a, in an easy spot. They just lap up with the uh, rest of the metal roof. And um, Go right up to the roof ridge, and um, they let a ton of light in here, and very little direct sun. You can see where the the sun runs on the ground uh, here. It's uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon, um, so this this part of the room will get direct sunlight. But really, all I wanted to do was to let a lot of light in here. Um, it is amazing how much cooler. Oh, touching the roof right now. And um, that's probably, oh, 140 degrees maybe. Um, but since there's no real thermal mass to it, um, the heat radiates back out pretty quickly. There's a lot of air circulation up here. Of course there will be because we haven't got all the, all the ridge caps are not on yet. You can see there's some peekaboo business by the chimney there. The chimney's not well... Um, um, sealed up yet either, and you can see the light going down the hall, going down the, the ridge there. That's all ridge. Uh, the ridge cap hasn't gone on over there. Um, you can hear the the panels expanding and contracting a little bit against each other. The cat was up here listening to it. She was like, what's that? What's going on? Um, earlier. But um, in the front, the, the north side, north-northeast, is completely silent. So this is my new room. And uh, I have to now, my job will be to get my ladders up here and start hanging um, my moisture barrier panels. And... Um, uh, basically styrofoam and then uh, putting my insulation up and that'll be it it'll be um, it'll be finished this room will be finished off probably take me oh gosh I guess a good good 50 hours anyways uh, the suggestion has been made to me to put wood paneling up here and I think I may well go with that if I can find an inexpensive wood paneling to do because hauling I have some drywall up here I'm going to use the drywall for the end 
for the vertical walls, but not so good for this stuff. Just a lot of work. So, getting it up here. I don't want to call it up here. So, that's the state of the roof as it stands. I'm Dave. Bye.